So you're going to be kind to people as long as it does not hurt your comfort or makes you yeah. uncomfortable in any way. Be nice. It's people pleasing. If people don't know that, know that. It's people pleasing. Or you're being nice because you want people to like you, to say, oh, she's such a nice person. Oh, my God. No. Keep your niceness. I don't want to be nice. You can't even please them. You can't. Exactly. So you would do everything, spend your last cent on those people, and they will still not be happy. So exactly. I think. Exactly. Like, I exactly. Think, you know, now and I, I, say, I say this all the time to people. I say, it's not about before you start looking for solutions to things, there are things that you have to sit down and walk through and figure out. And then also realize that when you go on that path, you're going to be the most hated person in your family, in your community, in your church, because people can't take advantage of you anymore. Exactly. <laughs> people can't take advantage of you. So they're not, they don't like that. And then there is nothing that people hate in this world than a woman who is happy and realizes who she is, who she is. And, and is not ready to take nonsense from anybody you're going to be yeah. the most hated person so yeah. make sure that you are ready for that because if you're not ready for that they're going to break you back into that old circle so this yeah. is my two cents and thank you for letting me speak on this there is something i always say when you are too nice nobody finds fault everybody loves you that's a problem there that's a problem yeah yep. everybody can't love you everybody can't like you when you yep. go out and you're telling me everybody appreciate everything they all love you no it's the problem it yep. is a problem Trust it is a problem you're a right. the moment you end up for your rights you're gonna attract hatred but that is to show you you're on the right track you are you're on the right thank track. you you're right. to set something straight it's not gonna be acceptable to everybody around you only the people who truly loves and cares for you will understand majority are not gonna accept you but that's okay that's true that's true. but you know I, I think one more thing on that is that a lot of people are not strong to accept that you know when it, it's not easy i i had to battle that realizing that everybody i was hated by everyone because i was just setting boundaries i you know i don't just open my mouth and share everything i didn't allow people to come into my space so it was it was hard i got to a point where i was like oh maybe i should just let my guards down and just not have those boundaries and let people in but then i watched an interview that um i, I don't know if you know this um actress or uh, uh Tomen, uh this um she's a south african actress but she's white and she was talking about boundaries and she said she real when she, everybody loved her until she started setting boundaries and the minute she started doing that she became the most hated person on earth and i was like and then she said you know there was something else that i think the interviewer asked i added and said you know because you're thirsty does not mean you need to drink poison right so if you're if you're very thirsty you need water and there's no water and you see poison are you going to drink poison because you're thirsty no so don't take you know don't go back so i had to re take my power back by not going back because i felt lonely I began to actually cherish my loneliness. And I realized that loneliness is not really a bad thing because you can be lonely. It's no, it's not. A woman, that, a woman that learns to live alone have solved, let me say, have solved almost 97% of her problems. Like, That's I am it. a typical example of it. Since I begin to stay alone, I found my peace. I can focus right now. Now I don't have anybody to think about. Before I was thinking about my family. I was thinking they have me at heart the same way I have them at heart. But right now, after everything that happens, I now stay alone. I can now be able to figure out what I actually want in my life and what I want to be, how I'm going to achieve them. And that is what I'm working towards to. Yeah. Living alone does not mean that you are selfish. But if that's how they want it, then so be it. I want to be selfish right now in as much that I have my peace of mind. Another thing, another thing staying alone is not a bad thing. That's what I try to let people know. It's, it's, it's a yeah. 
when you need to discover who you truly are you you have that power we all have that power in us but when you are always moving with crowd you never you don't give yourself space you always occupy you wouldn't know who you truly are so the moment you find yourself in that alone time right now is between you and your god that is when you will actually discover who you truly are discover your work what you yep. like and what you don't like and if you are coming out again you are appearing like a new person altogether like as if you've been giving birth so it That's is true. not a bad thing women more especially women you yes really want to understand this as for men they have the way they deal with their lives you know it, it, their life seems like it's, it's that easy but we women, we love to carry a lot of burden upon our head all the time. So I want to let women know that you finding yourself alone, please make good use of it. Make, make good use of it before it goes off, before you engage again. It's a beautiful right. moment. Honestly. All right. Yeah. All right. Because, you know, when you have those alone times, you can listen to music, you can read, you can pray, like you said, and you can just enjoy your company. Being with people, like you said, and rightfully so, does not allow you to self-reflect because when people are around you, it doesn't give you time to sit down and think because you might have gotten into an argument with someone and you said some hurtful things. Now, if you're within a group of people and they're talking and talking, you can't say, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. That was really bad of me, right? But if you're by yourself, you have the time to like, mm, you know what? I really, that, that, was, that was wrong. That's not me. I shouldn't have said that. And you're able to kind of keep reflecting and thinking about things that you should have done differently. Uh, when I chose to, you know, start my kind of, you know, working on myself and being lonely, people went ahead and said I was sad, I was depressed, I was miserable. And I will ask myself, I look at, I'm like, I'm not even sad. I'm actually very happy in my space because I had my TV shows to watch. I had things to do with my kids. You know, when we come back, I just take at the end of the day right i said i'm not sad like why are they saying that i'm sad because i'm alone because i'm not going to parties and dancing does not signify sadness it's not i'm actually happier when i'm by myself than when i'm with people you know and you and 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 then one more thing i don't want to take over everything but one more thing is when you begin to really grow and develop yourself and really want to be a better person there are certain places that you can't go anymore. I don't know if somebody has that experience. So it's not every party they call, but, 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 you put on your shoe, put on your clothes, and you walk and go and sit down there. No. It, it doesn't, your spirit will just like, no. You have to flow. You, your, the people that you surround yourself with are people that should be bringing out the best in you, not the worst in you. So for me, when I start going anywhere, if I see that it's not making me think to be better to grow how do i network how do i you know expand my network how do i and i'm sitting in a place where all they do is talk about who was wearing gold or who did oh, this exactly. or this. Yeah, yeah. my it spirit really it takes that. me days it takes me days to come out of that funk because it is a funk you know so yeah I a lot of groups i actually cut off a lot of groups you are just right you are, you are completely right it happened to me i cut off a lot of groups i used to be and they kept on calling me where are you are you coming out i said no actually i told them i'm not part of you guys anymore i don't want to be in that group anymore i just told them they said are you angry i said no i'm not angry why because i'm discovering myself and the things i can tolerate and the things i cannot more especially a group of people you know who are not influencing you in a positive way yeah i mean what do i need that for whether we like it or not no matter how powerful you think you are your circle matters a lot it they does don't influence you the more you are you keep moving with them so find the circle that can influence you in a positive way True. find that circle know they're gonna be drawn to you anyway like I tell people don't force yourself into any group or into any circle just right. discover yourself you know know who you are your worth build yourself work on yourself those people you have been looking for will be drawn to you because right yep. now they know you have something to put on this table nobody wants to have somebody who has nothing to put on the table mm -hmm. so important in your own world you've built yourself you've worked on yourself you've 